The five-minute test is, uh, you know, we, Charlie and I have, we're familiar with virtually every company of, of a size that would interest us in the country. I mean, if you've been around for, for 40 or more years, looking at businesses, it's just like if you were looking at, you know, studying baseball players every day, you get to know all the players after a while. And that's the way it works. Uh, then we have a bunch of filters we've developed in our minds over time. We don't say they're perfect filters. We don't say that those filters don't occasionally leave things out that should get through. But they're very they're, they're efficient, and uh, and they work just as well as if we spent months and hired experts and did all kinds of things. So we really can tell you in five minutes whether we're interested in something. And and uh, uh, we had never owned shares in flight safety, but we've been familiar with the company for at least 20 years. Wouldn't you say, Charlie? Sure. I had a partner who bought a lot of it 20 years ago. Yeah. 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 yeah that, but that's true of almost any business, and. And we know, we, we've, we've got an, a fix on what we don't understand, and then we don't care to know any more about them particularly, although we'll pick up a little as we go along maybe. But, and then the ones that are, we're capable of understanding, we've probably gotten about as far as we'll get already. So we, 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 do, we do know in five minutes. Now, when we do something with flight safety, uh, before the purchase, and even for somewhat a little after the purchase, I'd never been, I'd never set foot on a, on a, on a piece. They have 40 or so training centers around the world. I never set foot on one of them. Uh, I never been to their headquarters. We never looked at a lease. We never look at title of the properties. I mean, we don't do all of those things. And, and I will say this to date, that's never cost us a penny. What costs us money is when we misassess the fundamental economic characteristics. Uh, of the business, but that is something we would not learn by what people generally consider due diligence. Uh, we could have lawyers look over all kinds of things, but that isn't what makes a deal a good deal or a bad deal. And and we don't kid ourselves by having lots of studies made and lots of reports made. And they're going to support whatever they think the guy that pays them, you know, wants anyway. So it doesn't mean a, they don't mean anything. Uh, they're, they're nonsense. Uh, but we do care about being right about the economic characteristics of the business, and that's one thing we think we've got certain filters that tell us in certain cases that we know enough to assess, and then we make some mistakes. Charlie? I've got nothing to add to that except that people underrate the importance of a few simple big ideas. Uh, and I think that to the extent Berkshire Hathaway is a didactic enterprise uh, teaching the right systems of thought, uh, I think that the chief lessons are that a few big ideas really work. As I think these filters of ours have, have worked pretty well. And because they're so simple. Yeah, I think I think most of the people in this room, if they they just focused on what made a good business or didn't make a good business and thought about it a little while, they could develop a set of fillers that that would let them in five minutes figure out pretty well what 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 made sense or didn't make sense. I mean, there may be some reason after five minutes we don't get together on on a deal of some sort. But another thing you can usually tell. At least you can tell it in the extreme cases. You can tell whether you've got the kind of manager uh, very quickly that you, you want to have. I mean, it, uh, uh, if you've got somebody who's been batting 400 all their life, and, 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 and fortunately age doesn't change that picture in, in terms of business performance, and they love what they do, uh, it's going to work. If the seller cares a lot about the money, um, you're probably not going to make a very good deal. I mean, what they're, if, if their real interest is going into is what they're going to do with the money, uh, they may fall out of love or have less interest in their business subsequently. We 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 love working with people who are are just plain nuts about their businesses, and uh, it works very well. And you can you can usually spot that. Now, having said that, we'll have a few people figuring out how to fake that attitude. You know, when they try and sell us some piece of junk here, but. Uh, <laughs> Charlie says we, we can 
we can get conned by some guy with a green eye shade, you know, and a low rent office and all that, but it, it, we won't get taken in by the guy with the suede shoes. <laughs>